man, COVID is here. The world feels like it's falling apart. And then you're asking yourself, okay, is COVID still here? I mean, I knew it was here some time ago, but I thought it was leaving. Clearly it's not. It's not leaving. COVID's here to stay. COVID is hanging out with us. You understand? COVID's hanging out. And not only is it hanging out, it's hanging out and it's figuring out what cities it likes the most, where it wants to have a vacation home, where it wants to have rentals. You know, like it has roots And what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to delude yourself with the idea that you're going to just wait this thing out. No, COVID or no COVID, you have to be prepared to do the damn thing and you have to be prepared to do the damn thing consistently. So for me, I said to myself, you know, I could totally rock this conversation I want to have with you alone, but I decided, I decided to bring in one of my buddies, not just my buddies, but also the community manager here at Do The Damn Thing Nation and someone who I learn from each and every day, specifically when it comes not only to doing the damn thing, but my health my physical health, my physical strength, and my body. Because what's real is that there are two thumbs out there. There are people out there who are thinking to themselves that they are going to simply be keep this COVID thing out of sight, out of mind, which I'm clueless on. And then there are others who are like, you know what, I am going to wear a mask. But here's the deal. Being in front of COVID, is a, it, it starts with a you. It's a you thing. It's, a, it's an individual journey party thing. And then it goes to the other people outside of you. Then it goes to your community and what you want to tell the world. And then it goes to, to the world itself. So I, I, I really hope that you are somewhere comfortable. If you haven't poured a drink yet, I'm going to encourage you to do so. Take a sip of your coffee because here's this conversation is about to get real. And I'm excited. And you for sure are listening to Just Do the Damn Thing. I'm so excited. I am. You know, it's a long time since I get to hang out with you here on air. Right. I know. It's been, it's been months. I think it's, it's been, been more months. than months. Yeah. Well, COVID, COVID it interrupted our life and came between us for a little bit. Aww. And that's not just <laughs> us, but there's a lot of people that are experiencing that right now. A lot of people. Yeah. Hold on. Reunited and it feels so good. I had to. I was perfect pitch there. Thanks. (laughs) (laughs) You're welcome. (laughs) I want to, I'm going to dive right into this. I'm going to ask you a handful of questions and I want to get into not just a conversation of COVID, but I live in California. You live in Arizona and spots. Yeah. They're hot Hot spots spots right now. Super hot spots. And there are kind of like two worlds out there. My goal for you, my family that's listening, my goal is to give you kind of the three areas that I, I really want you to hunker down and focus on for the next six six to 12 months. Rest of the year. Yeah. yeah, for sure. At a minimum, the rest of the year, because not only is COVID here, but, but what's happening in our world as we know it is 100% of time for you to make new decisions and make new moves. As long as you have breath in your body and God has allowed you to live, there is no reason for you to not be doing the damn thing. Question is, how do you do it in this new world? Oh yeah. This new environment. Absolutely. This, this not, I, w- I don't want to call it a cloud, but it's, it's in your mind. You step outside, someone's got an opinion and they're going to let you know right away. Well, you by know, not wearing a mask or wearing a mask. Yeah. But in your state, you got people with all types of crazy behind opinions. Those oh, people are losing their minds. Fights. I, mean, I don't think they're ridiculous. as bad as Florida though. <laughs> Correct. I'm just going to agree you with were that about to 100%. Hold it. You I were was going to was like, mm, close, but no, Florida takes, Florida takes, they, they take Florida the cake. can have it all. Yeah. Did you see, did you see, you saw that, that West Palm Beach, you saw that my, oh, my favorite yes. video Yes. about those amazing humans yes. who went to, right. that's the best thing I've watched in a long time. Right. I, I have a copy of it on my cell phone. You get it? But listen, everyone who's listening, I'm from Florida. I can say I exactly yeah. what I want. I'm right. born and raised in that state. And those yeah. are exactly how that is. Here's what's real. This is not a conversation about whether or not you should wear a mask or not wear no. a mask. But this is 100% for me about how do I navigate COVID? Because what I don't believe is the right thing to do at this point is to, I, w- I think at first I want to talk about mental health. Correct. Yeah. So if we can just dive into that really quickly, because- okay. At first, we were like, okay, 
we're going to stay home for the next X amount of weeks. Yeah. Then it was like, eh, it was two months. Well, like everybody was kind of like, oh, I could work from home. It's kind of a mini vacay, a staycation. Everybody, all the staycation memes were coming out and day drinking and all having all these fun things about that, right? And then it got extended. And then, wait a sec, we, what do you mean we don't know? What do you mean, what information and what's really happening? They don't know. I mean, the whole world, even the World Health Organization, did not know certain information. They couldn't predict this COVID is morphing. It's changing. It affects yeah, everybody differently. So yeah, there's a lot the other- of unknowns. So that's scary. But do you really think it was all like that, like all unknown? For me, the other half of it is the fact that we have a country being ran by a person who's basically saying that there is no COVID. And, and no, that's not fair. That's not fair. I can't say that you he said what? there's no COVID, but he definitely behaved like there was no COVID. Right. I'll give a shout out to Randy Rainbow. I think he's got a great song for that one. But, <laughs> you know, um, but anyways, I digress. Yeah, but in all honesty, I mean, yes, it was all around the world, but here, just even just in the U.S., Right. It was a whole nother game. It will, uh, uh, yeah, because it, there was no end in sight. But no I don't think sight. it's. But it's not. I can't. I'm not going to accept here that it's because of COVID. Uh, there's no end in sight because of our leadership. Okay. Yes. The leadership had no. It, um, it's not like I, I, it's two things. One, I didn't feel like nowhere in leadership had a direction of where to go. But not because they didn't want to find a direction. No. For me, it was because they were focused on other things. Right. You know what I just said yes. Yes, the focus was not health or wellness or, no. or safety of lives or no. it was, it. yes, I, I agree. Does that make sense? Oh, absolutely. I, I know where you're going. I know, what you, I know what you mean because it's like, again, mental health. My mom had a routine. She's retired. She's uh, She just turned 80 and she enjoyed going out to senior citizen classes and having lunch with her buddies and then going to church. And she had a routine where she would go places. Yeah. I've and that day. interrupted. Her. Yeah. Every day she was out and doing something and that interrupted her life. And now she was at home. At home. And it, after a month and a half, she finally confessed to me like, I'm getting lonely and I don't know what to do. I'm bored. And this is hard. This is hard. So I, as her caregiver, had to be creative. You know, so I I have five dogs. I took one of them, the oldest, to go hang out with her. And now they nap together and take their morning walks. <laughs> so cute. And, you know, she has a buddy at the house. So getting creative. Everybody's got to get creative with their mental health. Not so creative where you're taking advice and making up false. That's interesting that you say that. So here's step num- lesson number one. So honestly, something really important that may- kind of made me pause and think for a moment. It's almost like, okay, great. We You may have had a plan for the first two months. Mm-hmm. And then you may have had your own chokehold for the next three, the, the, the month that came after when we all realized we were extended. Right. But I think right after that, what she's saying is that this there is another wave not a, even a wave of that. There's another not wave a, of craziness in the U.S. Yes. There's another wave of uncertainty and we're not sure. And hopefully the end is in sight, but we can't put a date on it. Right. And, you know, like even right now at the, at the time of this, California is talking about they just closed again. They just closed, closed again, again like right. two, three days ago. Right. So I think I'm hearing you say that you have to get creative, but you have to plan it. And creative and creative in your self-care and your bo- your awareness of yourself. Like a, how you're feeling? Yes. How you're feeling mentally, emotionally. But then what do you do with it? Because like, let's say I'm like, okay, well, this day sucks. This week has sucked. I am actually feeling like I'm tired of being alone. What do you actually do? What's the step? Ask for help. Ask for help. Ask for help. Period. Reach out. Talk. So here's the, ro- here's the wrong way to ask for help. To put a post on Facebook. Oh, God. You know, Correct. You know what I'm saying? Because to put then, a quote, then or or something on tw- in Twitter, like you a know, random, like put a random tweet somewhere, and then you're like, I said it to the world, the world did not hear me, mm-hmm. right? You know, how come they're not taking their Clorox pills? Don't <laughs> don't take one of those. I was joking, <laughs> right? So yes, don't put it on. I mean, too at this time at that time by the third month, suicide rates were going up. That was a real thing. People weren't dying from COVID. They were dying from 
loneliness and just feeling scared about this COVID, what's happening, what's happening to the world. Cause everybody lives so different, right? Like there were so many people who live alone and their world depended on them leaving their home on a daily basis, just a little engagement, some kind of, and then there are other people who they don't live alone, but they live in a home where life is tough at home. Yes. Life is tough emotionally so hard for, for children who come from a household where there, there's domestic abuse, going to school was a break mm-hmm. from that. Yeah, for sure. And f- and spouses getting having food going to school was a way to get food you know it's funny you say get creative and and uh, you made me think to myself honestly like so for those of you who are listening right. let me tell you the step that i'm about to take in my own life i'm gonna look at the next six months and ask myself the things that i'm doing my projects i'm focused on how am i helping are they similar or mirrors of the last six months that's that's a great idea like i'm gonna pull my calendar and I'm literally going to look and see like, what is this next six months, even for our community? So like, if you're listening to this and you run a community, you're a leader of some capacity, mm-hmm. are you going to teach the same things that you've been teaching for the last six months? Are you going to like, are you going to walk down the same road? I think that for sure, COVID pandemic, like under the pandemic, because for us, you know, all of our programs right now are like strong pandemic edition. Right. 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 Because I know that this way we're operating things is just not standard. No, it's not. But you're definitely making me say to myself for sure. There should be a game plan for the next six months. Right. That game plan should be different yes. than what you did. Yes. And all around, maybe in, in in life, business, relationships, communication, it's a 360. It's not the same. I even told my mom, I said, it's not the same. It's not going to be the same for a while. I mean, we can't go to funerals. We can't say goodbye to people. We can't, we can't visit funerals. them in the hospital. Right. We, we have a shortage of Toilet, I mean, a toilet paper. You know, you know don't even that, get to just There's a Lysol out there. You know, I was talking to um, Aisha, our operation manager. She was t- their Lysol is like $20 a can or something like that. It's like, I like you can't. And then she was like, you don't believe me? And we were in Arkansas. No, no joke. We were in, don't ask why we were in Arkansas. This is a whole other conversation. Mm. But we were in Arkansas. We And she was like, Arr! we walk into a gas station, not gas station. Listen, to getting crazy. A grocery mm. store. And she's like, go find Lysol. And I was like, of course there's Lysol. I walked all the shows. We could not find a can of no. disinfectant. And I was so shocked. I mean, I guess I've been so out of It just shows the human, con- the c- human condition of, of how comfortable people are. And that the whole fear of just something uncomfortable and not knowing their strengths, not knowing what they're capable of, and relying on outside things they can't control to determine their life. Like it almost consumes them, right? Like that, like they right. don't got it. So like, like, like instead of spending the time getting creative or doing anything useful, they're spending the time. Everybody freaked out. And like, as you say, it's not, it's not a lack of resources. No, never. It's always a lack of resourcefulness. Right. Forever and ever. And so day. It, now after this, I was just like, wow, this, I'm worried for this country because we just proved how unresourceful we are today. Well, as a country and individuals. Yes. And that, and that, you know, generations before, that wasn't the case. They figured, they figured it out. They did figure it out. They figured it out. The ish got done and everybody made okay. And they took care of each other. Communities would get together and take care of each other. This is like every man's for themselves. Right now, yeah. It's such a division. Did I ever tell you that when Rachel and I went to the grocery store? So, Rachel, so during the pandemic, not during, right before the pandemic, when like we didn't know. Our little Rachel? uh, My my Rachel. So, I didn't take her to the grocery store. I threatened her. And I was like, listen, you don't have anything in your house. The world's trying to come to an end in the next four days, okay? you got to go to the store and buy something. And she was like, no, I don't need it. And I was like, yes, you do. I mommed her. It was really awkward. Oh. She didn't have a choice. Right. So we get to the store. Bully. I It was bad. <laughs> so we go to the store, and it's crazy because there's literally at least 20, 30 people in every line. It's insane. But I could see Rachel with her cart trying to get through the aisles, and people were, like, running her over. Uh-huh. And it was so sad, but it, but it was fascinating to watch how like people were, I mean, the we, desperation, I'm, but it was, never, it was, was like, like no fake desperation, be. desperation. Yeah. There I was totally, no need for desperation. It didn't, it made, it made no sense to me whatsoever, but they were so desperate that they were literally pushing her over in the store. And it, and it showed me not the fact that humans can be ugly, but it was this 
hey, American, what are you doing? Right. Right. It was like, hey, American, why right. don't you, did you not see her? There was no sorry. There was no, and then Excuse when she came me. back over, she was so flustered. Aww. She was flustered and I understood why, but then she was like, people were running me over. She had four items in her basket or five. And, you know, in that moment, I thought to myself, I, I was a little bit of a moment for me. I saw another face of humanity. But I, I got to tell you, knowing people who live in other countries who were also going through COVID, I saw something ugly here. You get it? Like, I didn't see. I saw something ugly. And I'm not saying that I'm not saying that people don't and didn't care in America. Mm-hmm. But in that moment, I saw something I had seen many times before in different grocery stores, at gas stations during that week, where there was like and, just and- self and they're not you're not in you're in say more affluent grocery stores for possibly. sure am i wrong I, i'm not trying to but you can judge me I right I, I yeah go to whole foods i know and you, and it, you hate it all right i but, like whole foods <laughs> <laughs> okay continue i think we were in sprouts at this moment oh, which is okay. just as that's bad not, yeah that's mm-hmm. not. i think they'll let you in that place no yeah okay mm-hmm. but and, and and yet remember we were talking about neighborhoods and how you went to say whole foods with that that experience you had with with rachel then you said the following week you went to another uh, body that you know a latin grocery store and people were it was let me tell you there were supplies let me and everybody was like i just need oh oh, i only need two no mas no mas i'll come back no you take one I take one, you one for you, one for me, and you were like everybody was. You remember that because I called you. I yeah, was like, you were like Anna. What's going on? I was in, like, because I was in Vallarta. I want to give the credit. See, oh for yeah, too. see, one of my favorite stores. I was in, in Vallarta the, yeah, in, in the valley, mm-hmm. and it was right. It, you're right. It was like it was 10, like the next the week, and you were like. This is a whole different world. They're smiling. It was a different They're world. nice to each other. There's plenty. There was. It was crazy. And was, they were. There was so plenty. Everybody was like, "No, you take one. People you were so take friendly one for to you and one there. for you." They smiling. didn't feel scared. No, they didn't. They were. Res- they're like, "We're going to be resourceful." They're going. We're going to be resourceful. All of us together are going to be resourceful. It was I don't such a need, different feeling. I don't need all the tortillas. I don't. <laughs> I don't because, like, for me, that would panic. That would be a panic. You're crazy. No more tortillas. There's a song like that. I should play it for you sometime. <laughs> I can't. There's no more tortillas. So listen, I know that I would be sad. Listen, we're all, that would upset. Me I gotta bring us paper. back. I gotta Sorry, bring son, us back. Focus, focus. No, 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 we're good. But I, you're right. Step number one is you've got to get creative. The next six months, the next twelve months, you've got to get creative. But it's not. You can't just. You can't settle for just waking up and fingers crossed that you get to the other end. Right. You've got to get there by design. If you're not inside of a program like ours, like Strong, where there's a design and a map. Get in a program, find a community. Maybe there's something happening in your city. And if it's not in your city, it's online. And if you can't find one online, come literally reach out to hello at tiffanylargy.com or you can go to too damn Now, what's important about you having a game plan is that you can't do it alone. So the second thing that I heard that Anna said is she said, reach out for help. Mm-hmm. So reaching out for help is the other side of talk, connect. Connect in any way you can. Talk, connect, learn what your resources really are. And who they are. Yes. It's not only what, it's it's who. It is who. You know, like you might be like, well, Tiffany, I've been on Zoom meetings. Okay, great. Well, then stop using Zoom. Use Facebook. Don't use Facebook video. You don't like it? Use WhatsApp. You don't like that? Use Google Duo. You don't like that? Use FaceTime. Use a different platform. But you still need to connect in any way you can. And maybe you don't want to talk. Share photos. Share GIFs. Make fun of something. Share videos. Laugh together. Watch mm-hmm. a movie together. Which is yeah, something. Watch parties on Facebook. Yes. Let's sit down on the. Well, let's watch. You make your popcorn at your place. I mean, and we'll you, do the same. Right. I mean, people that are still dating. During I COVID know, on, know. online. I know. I mean, that, I thought I saw that. I'm like, that's really creative and resourceful. It is really creative and resourceful. We have someone in our community who told me about their experience doing it. I won't say their name, but it was really cute to hear the details. And I saw oh, the screenshots yeah. and the pictures and I was Aww. like, eh. Aww, cute. So, number two is people. So, number three, what are you doing to your body? Right. So if you're, if, you know, the stupidest thing that you could do, and Tiffany Largy's opinion, and I'm sure Anna's going to agree when I say it, <laughs> is to not use this time to get stronger physically. Right. 
Like, it just doesn't make any sense. All of the excuses in the past of, I don't have enough time, me, I'm guilty. I don't have enough time. I'm here, there, and there. I was in different time zones. Yeah. Yes, I am. I'm actually crazy busy right now work-wise, but it's not going to change the fact that I'm physically stuck in California for the most part. Right. Like, th- that's not changing right now, mm. which means the little 30 minutes of me moving in front of the TV, putting on a YouTube video, taking a walk with my daughter, walking from my own self, going up the hill, back down the hill, right. walking to the store to get an item from the grocery store. Choosing what you eat. Choosing what you eat. you have the time to maybe actually cook. Yes, if you're still... Like, like it, cook just, something unprocessed that cook you something made unprocessed. that doesn't come out of a package. That's exactly right. Right? It's, it's, it's more... I, I'm not going to say organic... Did I just, oh, I just did. Sorry. Anna doesn't believe in organic. I, food. I don't, you know. Well, that's a whole other that's conversation. That's a whole other podcast. We'll do that again. That's but, a whole other oh, conversation. Yeah. This is why she hates when I walk into Whole Foods and she stays outside protesting. So, <laughs> so I do. I do. It's true. I'm pouty. She does. She's pouty. I don't know why we got to do this nonsense. And, 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 and literally, hands down. It's actually the most entertaining. We'll film her doing that one day. It's just like when you went to Bucky's. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Okay. So listen. <laughs> So last is like, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense for you to not get your health game together. That really and truly, it's just so stupid because you have the time and you can set up a routine. You can, if you just add one new thing a day. One new thing a day. I, I, when this happened, I started to walk again. I know. Like I I started with just one, I started with half a mile. I'm jealous. You tell me what you're doing right now. And now, and now I'm up to... Three three miles of five k every day. I work day. in an hour, in That's an hour. Crazy. So I can I can put that in three miles in an hour. That's wild. so now I'm working. The next goal is three and a half miles in another fifteen minutes. And, I'm so jealous, and, and, right? And it's it. I feel great. Mm-hmm. I feel great. I bet you do. And I'm making my space around me, my environment. I'm taking care of it. Mm-hmm. I'm changing, making changes around it in the in the house, outside the house, in the yard. If you have a yard, yeah, get outside, do the little project. Mm-hmm. Check out Pinterest. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, an inside joke. Anna is, is, is Pinterest's <laughs> biggest fan. It's the best thing I've ever seen. It's hilarious. Yeah, I got lots of boards. I love it. Recipes, I projects lo- around the house. Uh, yeah, this cocktail so recipes. <laughs> <laughs> So here's the thing. You now, like, here, the next six to 12 months are up to you. How are you going to use this time to actually get stronger? I thought, I think I started this focused on being stronger in one or two areas. And for me, the next six to 12 months, 100%, I'm going to be getting stronger 360. That's one of my goals. And and it's, it's, it's stupid for me not to. I have the time. I have the space. I still have breath in my body. There's no reason not to. And COVID, like if you're scared of COVID, you're like, oh my God, I'm hunkered down at home. It's dumb to not strengthen your body so that you can fight it. It just, it's an illogical thing. You build new habits. You, the distraction of no time, I'm going to call BS. Or I don't know how, or I don't have the resources. You don't need to buy a program. You don't need no. a gym. YouTube has an endless amount of free things that you can do. I mean, that's the truth. It, it, there is. Uh, like, and, and then there's can, little light. I showed you those exercise bands today. It, literally. I, I want to introduce. Maybe we'll do a video of that. Maybe I can convince it, her of that. It was a game changer when you showed me that. And then it's like food. Like like you can incorporate. Like I drink celery juice very often daily. I was just telling Anna how I consume now a lot of vitamin C every single day. Like mm. thousands of milligrams. And, you know, I don't know what the right formula is for you. But here's my sentence. Do something. Don't right. settle. Do the damn thing, period. So with that, I say, dear Asana, thank you so much for gracing us with your time. I love you. I love your nation, our Mm. nation. Mm. I just love you. Our primos, our family. Mm. I love it. Primos. Mm -hmm. Mm. So we're going to say, love you, Anna. Bye, familia. Man, have I told you how glad I am that you're here? Like, real talk. Have I flipped and told you how glad I am that you are here? You have listened. This is the part of the show where I say, go follow us. Go find us. Go follow us. Go stalk us. But just make sure that we're connected. Head to do the damn thing dot TV, do the damn thing dot life, or just go hang out on TiffanyLargy.com. 
If we are not friends on Facebook, if you have not liked our Instagram page, go do that because you're going to want to see what we're doing, how we're doing, and how we're doing the damn thing daily. 